Got your new belt? Yeah, oh, we got a new belt. We got that. And yeah, we got a new script. Let's go. Ford Takeover 2024. The Dino Shootout. I was going to get mine on there. It had been NA with our S650, but there's a little mix up with the uh, scheduling. So I'm going to owe you a Dino video. We haven't done that yet. Yes, these usually do pretty good, but Colton's pushing 950 horsepower almost. Now he's got the grip tech, there's these little teeth in there. And it really helps to grip on to the belt. Maybe we'll see 980. Oh, you think thousand? Things gonna survive. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, Guys, it might look a little bit different in the camera. We've been losing some weight, getting in shape, eating better. So a little bit delay in the content, but um, I've lost quite a bit of weight. We were getting a little heavy, so it's But that's why I've been focusing a lot on myself. But we're here at four takeover it's just walking wow. man all you gotta do is yeah. low intensity yeah. steady state cardio you did not get the memo it is dad bod season so that's well, exactly. i mean i'm also 38 years old so Listen. 100 millimeter pulley there's your part number for this green belt black mama time I say nine. You say six feet? I give it six feet. I say nine. I say nine twenty. Do you remember we picked this thing up in New Jersey recently? Colton bought it from Stengo. This was his old car. So ESS G3R had some slip issues with the belt. We got that fixed now with the grip tech and a green belt. Should hopefully make north of mid 900. So we'll cross our fingers and see what happens. But uh, here we go. Uh, it's just too hot. He's killing it. Yeah, it's just too hot. 3000 DA. I mean, think about it. It's hard for us to breathe. Can you imagine that? That's true. Valid, valid point. So that's at least 60 horsepower, give or take there. I'd say give or take, yeah. yeah. You want to get gap Wow. Listen, you can't take my license plate. We'll take, we'll take the silver car out. Let's go. <laughs> but, but, let's go. Good morning, guys. Welcome back for the rest of the video. So today we're doing something pretty cool. Back years ago, it had a 2018 blue Mustang S550, and we did 350R bars on that car, and it made a huge difference. But as you can see, we're taking things up a notch here with the S650. So I have not done this with uh, the past several builds that I've done. With this car, I really want to focus on handling. So today we're doing sway bars. So, so this is the first Mustang that I've owned where I'm actually going to do a jump adjustable sway bars. These are the BMR bars, front adjustable sway bar from BMR, and they give you all new hardware. And then the rear, I believe is 25 millimeter. It is also adjustable, it gives you all the hardware, which cool too. Cool and unexpected. I didn't really actually know this until I opened it up, but these have grease fittings on the rear. But I believe with the S650, if you have the performance package like we do, that the factory OEM sway bars are actually the same as the Dark Horse. So even these bars, from BMR are gonna be a big upgrade over even the Dark Horse. Probably start on the middle setting and then work our way towards the stiffest and just give you a really nice in-car thorough test drive review like we always do to let you guys know, is this something that you wanna spend your money on? You know, is it worth it? But of course, if you wanna save a couple of bucks, visit the video description down below and use the promo code Xander7 at checkout at BMR Suspension and save a bunch of money. We've been working with BMR for many years so we have like the best discounts out there so save you some money visit the links down below but I think what we're gonna do is actually start with the rear sway bar first because it's like a 20 minute thing uh, just kind of breeze through the install there's a million and a half videos of installs of sway bars on Mustangs all over the internet what we really care about is how is this going to transform the s650 as good as it is already especially with the performance package for the front one's actually one is massive this thing is huge let's get rocking and roll and i'm excited to see what kind of performance we can gain out of this s650 
and make it a lot more turn car because you know, one of the things that plagues these s650s is the steering feel and maybe even this will help that car in the air get the wheels off and then we are going to disconnect this brake line and end link from the sway bar and then on each side you've got those two bolts right there and the whole thing's gonna like slide out to one side 10 minute job <laughs> All right, guys, got it out. Pretty easy. So here they are side by side. Uh, definitely thicker with the BMR. It's about the same weight. The advantage is that we do gain the adjustability here. You know, we do have adjustable shock struts. Gonna really be able to fine tune the suspension. So we have a bunch of BMR goodies to install. A ton of them. So over the next several videos, we're gonna be hard at work installing a bunch of cool stuff. Even redoing some of the stuff that we've already got on the car. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell down below so you don't miss the videos coming out. BMR rear sway bar installed. Any review that you ever watch on sway bars, especially when they're adjustable on these cars, it's like a dramatic, they say it's a dramatic difference. But, all right, so. The rear is done. All right, guys, so I took the car for a little test drive just with the rear installed. I can tell you, man, already a big difference, but now it is time to tackle the front. So what we got to do is get rid of these air boxes. We're going to move those out of the way. Three of the bolts we can get to. The other one's underneath the alternator. Pull the wheels off. Let's get some tools and get started and install our front sway bar. Let's go. 5,000 miles, these things are not looking too good. All right, so with the driver's side airbox removed, so you got one bolt easy to get to. The other one is kind of right there underneath the alternator. Uh, this side, both are pretty accessible. So all these things are huge, by the way. Big upgrades. Don't know what all the fuss is about, but you know, people complain all over the internet. Literally came out the passenger side in like two minutes. Just kind of curve down through this area back down here comes down again get your vehicle high and it makes life easier and curve it back towards the front as you come out like a a horseshoe it literally comes out i mean coming out the passenger side you don't have to worry about the alternator sitting right there you just have this one little brake line and it can move a few millimeters back and forth and it comes out no problem whatsoever so let's get these things side by side a little comparison with the BMR. Okay, I don't have calipers with me, but you can definitely see the difference in the thickness there. My goodness, definitely bigger than any other Mustang I've had in the past, but this thing, this BMR is massive. And then you look at the BMR, softest middle, full stiffness right road coursing or auto x we're just fun on the street you can fine tune the car the way that you want it to feel also depending on the spring rate that you're running what you know what kind of lowering springs you have like shocks and struts for example you can really fine tune uh the mustang your mustang for what you want it to do so i want an aggressive street ride for now i just want to play with it I mean, we might as well see how stiff these things are. And if I can, if I want to back it down a notch, you know, I certainly can. So anyway, let's get this one installed. It's going to install the exact same reverse way. And then we'll get this thing on the road and see what it feels like. Let's go. All right, guys, back on the ground. We got that red, beautiful, huge front sway bar installed down there. But guys, now it is time to take this car on a road test and see how it feels after all of our hard work. Let's go for a ride. All right guys, so check it out. We were here actually a week, maybe two later. And man, I gotta say, I wanna break this up. I'm sorry, kill me in the comments, I apologize. We're gonna do a driving review of what I think about these things. Uh, in the next video because this one's getting long-winded. I wanted to include the Ford takeover stuff because it was a lot of fun and you know We do want to get on the dyno with the Mustang and you know have a good time But the sway bars man, this might actually be like the best first mod that you could do to a Mustang We got a lot to discuss a lot to say in the next driving review I'm just gonna go ahead in this one and just make sure that you come back subscribe it's free guys but make sure that you do come back for the next video it's going to be a good time because i mean these sway bars are amazing i've got to play with some of the settings just a little sneak peek play with some of the settings and i've never had a mustang with, with uh, adjustable sway bars before i gotta tell you dude it's nuts it is nuts and i don't want you to miss the next video so make sure again subscribe it's free love you to have you on the channel 
you know, and uh, be a part of this this whole community that we're continuing to build. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers, but I gotta say, a lot of good things to say about the BMR hotness, and we have a lot, a lot more to install from BMR. So make sure, go check out the bmrsuspension.com, use the promo codes down in the video description and save a bunch of money. We've been with BMR for a long time, so if you're about saving money and modding, I mean, that's why we've got all those discounts down below, so don't miss out. But anyway, God bless all of you guys. I'll see you in the next video for our driving reviews. I apologize again. We're breaking this up into two videos. I don't like to do that, but this one's getting long-winded. Go ahead and end it right here, and we'll pick it back up here shortly. Stay tuned. God bless. See you later. Goodbye.